I'm Sophie Thompson. I'm a gardening author, presenter and commentator and very excited to be part of the Native Bee Project. Worldwide, bees are in decline. Honeybee populations could be severely affected with colony collapse disorder, varroa mite, all these things. A significant proportion of our food, our clothing, everything relies on bee pollination. Without bees, we are struggling. In Australia, we have over 2,000 species of native bees. They are amazing pollinators. They're far more effective pollinators than honeybees. We are only just starting to understand these creatures. I am fascinated by native bees. I've been working with native bees since I arrived in Australia 22 years ago. There's so much to discover still, it's amazing. They won't sting unless you really poke your finger in their hole. They will not come after you or be aggressive or anything like that. Our life, believe it or not, depends on insects. It's really important to take care of them. My name's Maria Zotti. I manage sustainability policy for the City of Adelaide. About six months ago, Mark Cannon from the City of Charles Sturt approached us and said, I've got this project, it's to do with native bees. We want to put bee habitat from the Adelaide Hills to the sea. Would you like to be involved? So we now have City of Adelaide and another seven councils involved, and we're all putting in native bee, bee and bees. So after months of planning and lots of people working really hard, we're actually going to build our first native bee, bee and bee. It's hard to see native bees. They're often small, they're very fast. Bee hotels are a fantastic way for people to get to know and appreciate native bees. We've got something which is of huge concern to us, which is worldwide bee decline. Native bees in particular could hold the future to us with regards to pollination. It's just so wonderful to see people with their families here to learn about our native bees. The kids get involved and we need them to have that focus because we need them to be aware. Katja has this great little slogan that there's no hotel without a restaurant. And so it's really important not only to build a native bee B&B, but to plant food for them. I'm Liam Crook from the City of Adelaide. It was very important that we planted some nectar plants, so flowering plants in and around the bee hotel. The amazing blue banded bee loves the purple flowers, so I'm really looking forward to spring for when they're flowering. Now the test will be whether the bees like it. I think it will be a lovely home for them. If we're lucky, they will find it in the coming summer. There's going to be a whole growth of information that comes out of this project. It's going to be so exciting. I'm buzzing with excitement. <laughs>